let me tell you we are equal in Christ but we are different in graces God hides his grace inside of men anything you are looking for it is a man what prayer cannot do honor can do them what prayer cannot do the door that prayer cannot open honor can open them for you there are people today even if God say yes and they say no the answer remain no listen to this and be wise Christian be wise we are too spiritual to the extent it affects our cosmos and we did not know how to live on it Jesus said give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God honor can put the pressure what a man does not want to do before he said this level of honor is too much I can't embarrass myself therefore I help you the man does not even have the money currently he said come tomorrow he go and find the money because he has received something he has to give something back because you are not cultured you have not learned how to culture your ways how to order your ways aright ways are powerful they can open doors and they can close doors honor can make men and women go extra mile to refer you oh yes what are we enjoying today it is referral see young ministers of God maybe you are a man of God here listen to this sometimes when you see us appreciating our father in the Lord he said he has gone to be with the Lord why are you people still stressing him stressing him a man who make me what I am today a man who took his time go extra mind sacrifice himself lay down his life and bring the wisdom and understanding about holding might to you such a man will never depart in my life and never be erased in my memory one of the greatest thing i appreciate in the life of prophet Joshua to us is the level of sacrifice he was ready to go let me tell you for any of his son there is no price he cannot pay he can he tells us he said if it will make you a better person i can go that far if you see any of them in any place they are excellent because our father pay an excellent price for us to say to whom much is given much is expected when you see them anywhere know that they are exceptional people but let me tell you the truth if you are a man of God, learn to respect your fathers. Respect your source, your foundation. Oh yes, there are people who are not just having the anointing, but they also give the anointing. The Bible says, go and buy, Matthew 25, it says, go and buy from them that sells. That is, there are people who can sell this thing to you. This grace will never, I tell you the truth, will never has come upon me if I never enter this place. If I become a man of God, maybe a street one, maybe not the one with the anointing. And maybe if I even have the anointing, maybe not at this stage. It will take years and years and years upon years of labor and pain. That even when the anointing come, it won't bless you again because your flesh is weary out. That some of us, some people who receive it at severity of what benefit it is to you and to people who want to receive it. Timing matters in getting the oil. But I met a man who gave me access to the oil. And I'm forever grateful to him. Please, there are people who are not just anointing carrier, but they have the capacity to give the oil. It is written in your scripture. It says, buy from them 
that says that means there are certain individual here on it that have what you are looking for that thing you went to mountain a man can stand and say because i love you come let me lay my hand on you and forever work on the supernatural forever cheaply that is what we benefit as a mentee under a mentor his labor for years his sacrifice for years his pain but because of just love it's just look us we are not from the same region at all we are not from the same family but love you say come they call you people street people he say come follow me follow me he say if you follow me no one will be lesser than me and today you are seeing many tb joshua everywhere now Are you with me and when you see many tb joshua everywhere let me tell you the day we stop honoring him not just it's not a ritual honor bring more access the day you stop appreciation that is the day your testimony also stop some of us what kill us today is this honor so what is there all men are men what is there? Is it, are you not just a CEO? What is there? Is it because you are, you enter a man's office that has many awards, loaded, instead of you to humble yourself and say, for you to have this accolade, it, no matter how, it is not by might, not by power, there is something upon you. You say, ah, what a lucky man. From that day, you stop going down because lack of dishonor never never trivialize such a grace you can't find it in the market nowhere and if you think it is cheap let me tell you all are everywhere empty lands are everywhere you can start your ministry and see how you suffer as if jesus does not exist and you'll be wondering is it not the same god they are calling and i'm calling no not the same your own is with dishonor our own is with honor Oh yes, you have heard it many times and not just today. today. You may still hear it today again. You keep hearing him say, the spirit of Prophet T.B. Joshua is working with you people. He's helping you people. This thing is not power and mind. It's not by power and not by mind. That is when they say the spirit is not just, no. It is the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God in his life. Have done share himself to make sure he assists everywhere. Because the goal is to bring people to Jesus. And anyone who respect and honor a prophet, he said, you shall receive prophet reward. I'm a product of honor. I am born from a man that honor God and honor men. You will never see us communicate this honor in any way. Jesus Christ continued to use that system of honor to draw men to this place. Oh, if someone invited you here, if that person was not honored, he would not invite you. If that person was dishonored, he would never deem it fit to come and invite another person. Honor make one to go and invite another, another to invite another, and 1,000 to invite 10,000, and 10,000 to invite thousands upon thousands. If you say you are here today, you say all i came to see i want to see god and i don't want to see any man you are right very right but i tell you you are still wrong if all you came to do is to focus on only god and despise man you are right when it comes to the sovereignty of the lord but when it comes to kingdom God as a king, you are wrong. Because there is no king without people and scepters in it. You are only a king because you have a followers. Oh yes. Man is important. Make no mistake about this. 
who is in your life that you have dishonored? Do you know that many of us today, we have closed doors. Closed doors because we communicated dishonor through our ways. There are many doors that were opened to you yesterday. Your arrogance, pride. All of us are the same. Nothing is special. I can get it anywhere and that door shut. And today, you are starting afresh to ask for what you have years ago because of dishonor. Let me tell you, we are equal in Christ, but we are different in graces. God hides his grace inside of men. Anything you are looking for, it is a man. Are you not surprised that sometimes you can come to church? Now you are here this morning now with a lot of one or two challenges. Everybody needs one or two things from God. Yes or no? You have been singing worship, you have been singing praise things. And Satan is doing as if he's not hearing you. But let a man carry the mic and say, rise up for prayer. Then the situation begins to remove. How come? Say, so I don't care. It's God that I follow. You are right, but you are wrong. Oh yes, you are right, but you are still what? Still wrong. Have you seen when a man is right? In his own eyes they say there is a way that seems right to a man but at the end it leads to what destruction i don't care about anybody don't care all i care is god oh let me tell you go and read luke 2 and verse 52 it says jesus find favor in the sight of god and in the sight of men if all you have is favor with god i tell you the truth all your requests you will see visions you will see angels but here on earth you will suffer as if god does not exist each time i look at my age i say how how long will i have find this grace if i were to be left alone how long you are met we have ministers of god we have thousands of people sometimes we have zoom meetings and we have pastors all around the world connecting to this grace and they admire it even me admire it but sometimes i sit and wonder if i have been communicating this honor say i will do it by myself and find it by myself what a shock brothers and sisters but let me ask you which door have you closed because of this honor and which door have you opened because of honor which door have you closed because of what dishonor and which door have you opened because of honor oh you say there's nothing prayer cannot do let me tell you the things prayer cannot do seriously they are they are they are let me tell you what prayer cannot do honor can do them what prayer cannot do the door that prayer cannot open eh? honor can open them for you do you know that a king loved a village girl and she became a queen is it in your Bible in the book of Esther? Esther Adasa was a village girl. But just because the king loved a village girl, who loves you matters a lot in this kingdom. And who hates you also matters. If you are loved by God and hate by man, <laughs> come let me help you quickly. Many Christians understand God, but they don't understand this earth. They are pressed to fast. They are pressed to pray. They are pressed to go to mountain, go to different churches. I salute your faith. No doubt about it. You are really pressed and congratulations. God does not despise your sacrifice. You are pressed. But some of you, in as much as you are pressing in the spirit, you don't have any idea about this earth. 
oh yes we don't have any idea it is not the same formula in working with god and working in cosmos this act not the same let me show you a scripture today matthew chapter 10 and verse 16 listen to this this is jesus speaking not peter not james not uh, paul apostle who is speaking jesus he said behold i send you out as what as what as what in the midst of what in the midst of wolf he said therefore be wise as what be wise at what and be harmless as a dove who gave this advice he never said become a serpent he said for you to be an effective human being here on earth for you to live successfully here he said borrow the wisdom of a serpent and the wisdom of a dove therefore you will become an effective sheep many of us have not come to this understanding all we know is god and god alone jesus said come let me give you a warning and advice a big advice he said to live here on earth because i lived here he said borrow this wisdom this wisdom is very profitable wisdom of a serpent never become a serpent if you become a serpent you'll be killed become borrow their wisdom there is a lifestyle they live that makes them to survive in the wilderness they don't have big teeth no 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 if you check a serpent note it and if there is any maybe one not even strong but yet there is wisdom there if you pray but you don't have this wisdom how far can you go if you pray fast go to all mountains nigeria mountain cameroon mountain south africa mountain go to all mountain in the world kinimonjaro i say i must i must go there mountain everest i must go there the tallest mountain in the world i must see god when you come down i tell you you will still be under man you will still be under man listen to me it is very very important to know that honor gives us access honor do what bring access to the heart of kings honor brings access you say they did not talk to me i will not talk to them king don't need to talk to you it is you that need king not king needs you say because because he's the is the head of my department you will remain poor forever you will remain poor because you could not give honor to who honor is due to i stand here today because i am a servant i'm an evangelist of prophet Ibush. i serve for years my record is still here i serve i serve diligently i serve with honor why will i serve another man am i not old enough learn lesson you will short circuit yourself forever permanently because of dishonor let me tell you all failures are traceable to dishonor all failures all all the root of failure is dishonor where there is no dishonor there is no failure let's say pride goes before a fall you don't see failure without pride oh yes oh yes he said i must say my mind here i won't allow anybody to suppress me i'm a man and you say things that destroys your destiny automatically be 
because of this honor. Let me show you a scripture that will bless you. I want us to pray today. Proverbs. Turn with me to the book of Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. Let us read together. Listen to this scripture properly. And let this be a deliverance for someone today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to it. It says, when a man's way pleases who? What will he do? He makes even his enemy to be at what? When a man's way pleases, that is when you honor God, if God wants to help you, he makes your enemy, not all enemy are castable. There are some enemy they call the gatekeeper in the Bible. Even God, the Bible is the one telling you this. He recognized it as an enemy. He said, this one, this one, the only passage in this is to, for God to give you the grace of honor through communication that they are at peace with you. When a man's way pleases the Lord, he makes his enemy. He makes gatekeepers. Let me tell you, every industry has a gatekeeper. Oh yes, every industry, every organization has what? Gatekeepers. These are people they call gatekeepers. They are some certain enemies. They are gatekeepers. There is nothing. If you are Joseph, there is no prayer you will have prayed that uh, the Pharaoh should come out and... No, 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 no. So can the king order for my release? For what? They are gatekeepers. God just have to help you to come out of that situation by giving you the key of honor. There are people today, even if God say yes and they say no, the answer remains no. Listen to this and be wise. Christian, be wise. We are too spiritual to the extent it affects our cosmos. And we did not know how to live on earth. Jesus said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. And give to God what belongs to God. God can say yes. A gatekeeper can say no. And yet, the answer will be what? No. But God said it. God showed me. I saw myself. I saw this man dying. I saw my... No, brothers and sisters. Honor is the only thing that can penetrate even a wicked king. Are you not aware that God was done with Saul, King Saul, because of disobedience? And yet, he has chosen David, a man after his own heart. But Samuel refused. And all you see, David was in the cave of Adonai. He was in the wilderness because a mediator, a man ordained by God refused. That man is not just a prophet. He's a gatekeeper. He's a what? A gatekeeper. So there are certain individuals. They are not just humans. They are not just your enemy. They are gatekeepers. I bind you. I cast you. You will stay there till you get old. Say, if God, if your ways pleases God, he makes this certain calibers of people to be at peace with you. I tell you, no matter how spiritual you are, probably if the governor of this state says you don't want to see you in 24 hours, I truly know you don't have a good rest tonight. Because you think many places you can be. Say, if we see you in our land, is finished. We are giving you at least 24 hours to find your way. You won't have, even if you sleep, you can't sleep one hour. <laughs> You'll be sleeping 10, 10 minutes. Closing your eye because you don't know what is. A gatekeeper is there. Please. Hmm. We can open door through our words mixed with honor 
and we can close door through our words mixed with dishonor. One thing I study our prophet for is a man that honor all people. Very well. Go and check the man. Our great prophet. Prophet TV Joshua. You like him today not only because of the anointing but you call it humility. What is humility? It's honor. Humility is what? Honor. That is he appreciates even your coming. He appreciates your time. He appreciates everything. Say, I'm their man of God. Let them honor me. No. If people give you honor, don't give them this honor. Honor is reciprocal. Which door have you closed by your ways? Through this honor. And which door are you opening? Oh, what you are looking for is not just in heaven, it's here on earth. But it takes honor to assess the heart of great men. It takes honor. There are some of you, parents, you don't honor. Brothers and sisters, you don't honor. You say they are my brothers. Some of you say, my parents gave birth to me, what is my problem? Did I force them to give birth to me? And you close the door immediately. Is it not in your Bible? Exodus 20 and 12. It says, honor your father and your mother. What is the reward? Let us hear it now. It says, honor who? Father and your what? That your day may be what? So, do you see that longevity is tied to honor? Long life, premature death is also part of this honor. Dishonor to God, dishonor to principle, and dishonor to men. Premature death is an evidence of dishonor. Longevity. Maybe you start a business that didn't last. Check where you miss honor. Probably everybody that comes must wash your feet before they enter. You won't last. Give us the scripture again. It says, honor your what? Your father and your mother. Now, this word father and mother is an idiom. Not just your physical and biological father. Because we keep telling, we keep giving this scripture to Sunday school, to our children to read. You say, you hear this now. Now my child is going on. Go and look for this scripture for me so that he can begin to learn. It's not for child. It's not for children. This is not children's bread. This is for all of us. As far as you are a Christian, honor your father. That is your father means those who have the results you don't have. They are your what? Fathers. Anyone, whether younger or older than you, as far as they can produce and you know that this thing, you don't have it. He say, honor it. So that it can come upon you. Honor gives us access. Gives us access. Oh, there are many people today. Maybe it's simple by just a simple greeting. Has gotten wonderful opportunity in life. Just a simple honor. They say, this young lady, this young woman, if you see her, um, uh, I don't know her, but the way she greets, it, it, you know? Do you know that honor can put a pressure on a man that don't want to help you to help you? <laughs> honor can put a pressure what a man does not want to do before. He said, this level of honor is too much. I can't embarrass myself. Therefore, I help you. The man does not even have the money currently. He said, come tomorrow. He go and find the money because he has received something. He has to give something back. Which door are you closing because of this honor and you are at the mountain or in different churches praying up and down? Praying and fasting. God, help me, help me, help me. It was never recorded that Elisha will become the next Elijah. Honor make Elisha to be the next Elijah. Other ones said, do you hear your master is going to? They say, we know. Let him go so that we can shine. Dishonor. Dishonor. And after 
Elijah left truly. We did not hear anything about them again. Check your Bible. When Elijah dies, those sons of prophet dies. But the man who honor him, I say, no, this thing is more than the anointing. I have respect for you beyond this. Elijah said, ask anything. He said, can you give me a double of this thing? In short, I can't hide. I like this thing. When you honor a king, <laughs> check your Bible in the, in, in, check your Bible. You will see that no time you honor a king, a little girl, Herodiah, honor a king on a birthday. The king says, ask anything to the half of my kingdom. You don't know the power of honor. Let me tell you, you can make a living by honor. You can die by dishonor. If you don't have job, have honor. It's still part of occupation. It's still part of what? Occupation. Some of us are struggling too much. And we are crying on the altar. God says, I've answered your prayer. But your dishonor. Stop. Block. Seal the door. You come into this place. And you say, ha. Ah. Look at all these people. They are just standing anyhow. Tell that man to shift so I can see. Next time when you come, they throw you at the back. You won't even see anything again. From five, say if you see him, say that man that caused trouble the last time when the man of God was here. Put him at the back. And you are surprised. What have I done? Who hates me? You may not know that maybe this man that is standing here, one, he may be an owner of a company. Two, he may be the head of the department here. And you just communicated this honor. And not only that, they put you at the back. You go out to look for a job. And you find the same man. They say, I know you. You came to our church on Sunday. He said, how are you? So I say, walk out. Straight walk out. With your prayer point and prayer request. With your CV and certificate. Walk. Walk out. This honor closed door. Brothers and sisters. This honor make you live as if there is no support from heaven. This honor makes you be... I mean, struggle like an unbeliever. So I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Where is that powerful? Can you begin to re reorder your words and culture your words well? Where is that powerful? Saying or cultured words is the easiest way to keep destiny. Uncultured words. Uncultured words. Let me tell you, each time we appear before Prophet T.B. Joshua, probably they report you or there is an issue. He will be quiet. He will not say anything. I hope you understand. Oftentimes we have taken ourselves to meet the king and say, Sir, I want to report this, my brother. He did this, he did this, he did this. He said, mm -hmm. And after everything, you know, he will ask you, uh -huh. what can you say? That is, through your own ways, you will be justified. And through your own ways, you will be condemned. And immediately you say, no, I did not. I did not. say, walk out. This honor has been communicated. You have not learned the lessons of obedience. Jesus was learning too. That is why in Hebrews 5 and verse 8, they say, though he was a child of God, son of God, he learned obedience by the things he suffered. Who judged you? Was it the prophet or yourself? Who judged you? You judge yourself. And how do you judge yourself? By wrong communication. Adding arrogant and pride. And someone can do something worse than you. And after the whole this thing, and the person is just there and suddenly fall down on his knee and say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Say, look up, say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. No, they, but they say you stole. They say you see. Sorry. Can you kill a man who is sorry? Can you kill a solid man? What will you do to a solid man now? He has asked the king for pardon. 
he has honored the king and respected the king though he has something to say let me tell you one thing the prophet will not do now he will begin to investigate that case and begin to justify the solid one and say maybe there is selfishness inside this report i stand as your advocate since you are solid i become your defender forgive him and he will draw you close and later after two days of drawing that one the one that was sorry is now more closer than the one that reported because once you are sorry you need mercy yes or no say come don't worry i will help you next time don't do it like this don't do it like this as long as you explain and you communicated your sorry properly that you are repenting not just sorry by mouth some of us say sorry but communicated on sorry by our attitude say follow me i will help you don't worry i'll help your weakness just tell me i'll help you i'm your father i'm there for you do you see what honor can do and you will have been there and just make your mind i did not know this man is lying this man is this this man say walk out and go back to your village because you are not cultured you have not learned how to culture your ways how to order your ways aright words are powerful they can open doors and they can close doors you can pray and fast and yet if you don't know this simple principle you'll be surprised that after your prayer on sunday god say yes go to that place and when you get there on monday your dishonor still make the man tell you to go back did god answer it yes what happened your dishonor block the door again so all doors be open you say amen on monday morning you get to an office no regard for anybody say who, who is the boss here i'm looking for the manager here they say the man you are seeing there is here. I say, ah, you are the manager ah, how are you sir how are you i was looking for you they say you are the man so i um, say walk out doors close dishonor communicated and anytime there is dishonor there is failure sometimes it is you who need something that need to bring this honor great men may accept your honor i don't give you back but they register it in their mind have you seen sometimes you honor a man especially men men are good in this when you give them honor women can quickly reply back but men will not reply they keep it they record it a day comes whereby trouble want to happen say no we can stand for this man this man this young man has been very diligent honoring everybody honor can make men and women go extra mind to refer you oh yes what are we enjoying today it is referral we are enjoying the endorsement of a great prophet you won't come here if not knowing that i'm from the prophet some of you don't even come for the love of me you come for the love of the one who trained me be wise say i'm a man of god who sent you man of god because we are interested in who sent you we're interested in who trained you do you know that there are some jobs when you want to go they'll say come 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 sir watch this this is the ceo and this is my boy i hope you understand everybody is here on the queue i will just give him a call and say sir my boy will be coming tomorrow his name is uh, daniel daniel will be coming to see you tomorrow please just help me help my boy we are friends and because of that referral daniel is given an executive treatment If Daniel is not honorable, if Daniel is not humble, he won't get that referral. And that job can change his destiny and change his lifetime. Who have you dishonored to block the door? Who? Who have you matched in order to please God? Who told you man is not important? Who told you? sometimes everything may be right but if there is no man god cannot still work the bible says what is a man that you are so mindful of god is highly mindful of men god is handicapped with that man 
and you say, I can survive with that man. Go and ask the man at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. John chapter 5 and from verse 7. This man was there for 38 years. There was pool of Bethesda there. That is, there was God. Whoever enter into that place will be what? Will be cleansed. Will receive healing. Anyone that can get in there first. But how come a man is there for 38 years and could not find anyone? Listen to his statement now. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he has already had been in that condition a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? A question. Now, verse 7 now. Listen to this. The sick man answered. This is his own answer. Sir, I have no what? Hold on. I have no what? Did he say I have no God? The God is already at the pool. The, the pool is, is God's instrument. But now man to move him into the pool is not there. Sometimes God can be on the scene. But there is no man to help you. And yet angels cannot walk. I hope you know that it is angel that was stirring the water. Why can't the angel look at that man and say, come, 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 come. Come into the pool. Even the angel need the ministry of man. Go back and live wisely. This is the church of God. Stop closing door and going to fast and pray with dishonor, disrespect. Uncultured ways. Everyone is your enemy, including your neighbor, your friends, everyone. You have met, you have offended everyone, and everyone has offended you. You can't go far that way because your answer, all prayer requests come from God, but true man to man. All prayer requests. Oh, let me tell you the truth. Oh, if you think there is no man here with my anointing, you think you can get all this. Make no mistake about this. There are men and women who say, God's time, we believe in you. Go ahead. We join you in this journey. Your God shall be my God, and my God shall be your God. It takes honor. I didn't just say, you know, because I'm anointed, you have to do that. Anointed what? Were they sick? Were they poor? In short, your destiny helper may not need your help. It is you who need their help. Were they poor? Were they sick? Were they blind? If you have the anointing, they just love you for no reason because of your humility and your honor. Tell your neighbor, say, honor is powerful. Say, honor is powerful. Say it with boldness, say, honor is powerful. Please. It's very, very important. Be careful with your words. Turn with me to the book of Matthew. This is where we end it today. Matthew chapter 12 and for verse 36. Can we read together? He said, but I say to you that for every idle word men speak, they shall do what? They shall give account of it in the day of judgment. What are you saying now? It was the day of judgment does not mean on the last day. <laughs> when you talk anyhow now, your brothers and sisters keep quiet. A day is coming, they'll remind you. I say, you remember when you were talking to us anyhow? As if we don't matter. Probably you have something now. And when you help people, you help them with dishonor. Useless people. Let me just help you so that it doesn't mean I don't help you. Animals. Have you forgotten that broken things can become useful in the hands of God? Prophet Tibiosha say, a weak person today can be a strong person tomorrow. He said, a landlord can be a tenant tomorrow and a tenant today can be a landlord tomorrow. There are people, truly, 
that because of the honor they've shown to their loved ones when they were nobody, now their loved ones have become somebody and vow that forever you will never lack. I know how you help us when our parents don't have anything. I know how you cheer us up. I know how you were with us. If there is nobody you have ever believed in or nobody you have ever honored, everybody that is lower than you, you dishonor them. Don't forget that the children today are the adults tomorrow. 15 years, 20 years ago, we are also young like this. But our parents, the great prophet, give us the honor we desire. Say, I honor you, my children. Because you people are the TB Joshua of tomorrow. He is resting and is happy. Happy to see that his children are rising. Those who have honored him sincerely with all their heart, they are doing supernatural things. When you see them operating, you will, be, you will be wondering. You can't get it from the market. Buy from them that sell. They don't sell those things in the market. It takes honor to receive it. Honor is a giver and a releaser of graces. So for everything you are saying now, you will give account of it. Now listen to the next scripture, verse 37. That is the text now. It said, by your ways, you will be what? I can't hear you, church. By your ways, you will be what? And by your ways, you will be what? Condemned. Do you hear Satan in this verse? Is Satan here? Is Jesus here? So now both Jesus and Satan now. Sometimes you know we say it's God. Or everything is God. Sometimes we say it's Satan. Satan that caused it. Both Satan and God are not mentioned now. They say by your own ways, you will be what? Justified. And if you are not careful, by that same ways, communicated wrongly, you will be condemned. No Jesus, no God, no Satan. What are you saying with your mouth? What are you, what is coming out of your mouth as a child of God? Let me tell you, if you want to speak, mix it with honor. If you want to be great. Anytime you want to speak, never speak out of anger, bitterness, frustration. Me, I'm going to say my own. Please, this thing is enough. How can they be? No, 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 no. See, let me tell all of you, please. If you cannot talk, let me talk. I'm, 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 I'm a human rights activist. As you finish speaking, they say you can go. Everybody will promote you. You go. Go and become human rights. A gifted rebbe is not an asset. You are, you are very good in rebelling. Nothing good, positive, come out of your mouth things that pull down, things that bring provocation, you will not rise that way. How far can you go? Honor is what gives us that access, brothers and sisters. By your ways, not by God. By your ways, not by Satan. By your ways. You see, you are either justified or you are either condemned. So this verse is very important for men and women. There are some people once, when you get to an organization, just your good money alone, the love of God come upon them to say, we'll help you. Say, sir, I'm, 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 don't worry. Say much. He said, we just like you. The, your greeting alone has bring love. The good money has bring hatred already. Just by this little disrespect. When people want to do wedding today, probably party, birthday party, wedding, you see them going to call MC. Yes or no? Why can't they give it to anybody to do it? Why can't you say my sister will be the MC of my wedding? Because your sister may not be, your sister may have good English, but not be able to communicate honor to people. And when there is no honor there, nothing will come out for that wedding. Finish your wedding and carry your expenses on your head. But it takes it takes an expert, a good MC, to begin to honor me. He, he asks us as an MC, you first ask, 
who are the people who are the top people here he collected their name and begin to mention and praise them and bring accolade upon them a man who is invited just to come and eat before he knows he dropped half of what you used to do the whole ceremony because of the so much honor that has been placed upon him the wife said you i thought i thought you say we are not going to i thought you say you don't have money say ah, i have to have money the horn the horn on there was too much if you leave here it's, it's a shameful thing please give me money let me cover my shame because these people have overhung on me at least <laughs> honor is powerful it can make a king to go extra mile it can make your parent to go extra mile there are some children that the, the the way they respect their parents their parent can set the whole world set the whole world in short they are parents that can go and steal even for that their child that honor them to survive and they are children that are very disrespectful even when their parents have a died here Daddy, are you not the one that gave birth to me? Are you not? So is it my fault that I'm alive? No, you can't get anything. One longevity will be taken away from you. Long life will be taken away from you. You cannot be prosperous. As long as you don't understand honor. Prayer warrior, listen to this today. Add honor to your prayers. There are many of us our own we don't even disrespect men we also disrespect god i hope you know that not only man men of us our words are pungent to even god when god listen to some of us prayer he say close the door close heaven don't let this person come here because you don't know or you go to god you go to god and complain of everything you don't have you never go to God and appreciate him for what you have. Acknowledgement is honor. I acknowledge you. Lord, I, I, I appreciate you. I come here today even though you are not giving me anything. Let me say thank you for what you have done yesterday. And as you begin to give honor to God, there is something honor do to every man. It put pressure on their integrity to do again. Our words and our added say one good turn deserves and a one bad tongue close another. Do you see the prayer we have been praying? How it's been stopped? It's not by it's not been stopped by God. It's been stopped by our dishonor. Dishonor to God and dishonor to man. When we finish this prayer today, go to that your neighbor and say, I appreciate you, people. How are you? How is everyone? You see your neighbor's children? Don't just kick them and say stupid children. No, honor them. Those children may be your destiny helper tomorrow. Be very careful. You will enter an office tomorrow. You will see that it was that young small boy that was living behind your house. And you will be shocked. It's ah, how time flies. Yes, truly flies. Now go out. Go out. Because when you were doing it then, you never knew that the table would turn around. The table would come out, turn around. What goes around comes around. It is very good to live in honor. Live, cultivate the heart, habit of practicing honor. Practice it. Let it become your day-to-day -day activity. When they give you something, say thank you. Don't say okay, okay, okay. They send you an alert, say sing. Sing, you will not see it again. Thank you. I'm grateful. May God bless you. Little thing. Someone step on his head. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. You didn't apologize. You have communicated this honor. Sorry, sorry. Is this just, just come on stepping on you? You did not. This simple, simple thing has made us to be at the back side of life. And we are wondering, where have I gone wrong? God brought you to this church today to correct you. Mix your ways with honor. No king resists honor. Even your child, give them honor. Those who are below you, give them honor. Your colleague, give them honor. Honor will never reduce your anointing, men of God. It will never. In short, it adds. Is there anyone who humble themselves will be exalted? And anyone who exalts themselves will be humbled. 
Go back and mix everything with honor. Your certificate mix honor there if you want to get a job. Unless you'll be carrying only a cardboard paper everywhere. Your business mix honor there. Customer come to your shop. Don't say we don't. We don't just tell me what you want and, and go. They will get it and they will never come back. You are very harsh. Very harsh. Not welcoming. There's a way you can be welcoming. Show them honor. I appreciate you. I will see you another day. You look beautiful. You look good. And they say, oh, this woman, each time I get to her shop, it's more than what I come to buy. Because she honor me. Even though she's at home, she begins to remember someone who appreciates her in the market. And anytime she's going back to market, because of that honor, that honor become a magnet that brings her to your shop. You say, you still know here? Yes, I know. I know here not because of the location. I know here because of what you said to me. Ah, yes. There are certain places that people who have patronized never to patronize there again. So you know that place? Please never buy something from that store. They are so rude. And you will see them starting where? And after one or two years, that place started going down. Why is this thing going down? Men and women have warned themselves, warned their children, warned their neighbor. Don't go there. This honor is at work there. And suddenly, a moving business becomes like a cemetery. Though in the town, but yet nobody visit there. Who, who chase people away? Dishonor. And you can see a local place. Probably even a dirty place. And you see crowds staying there. Because each time they stay there, the woman comes and even make everybody laugh. Happy with them, play with them. And with the dirty customer can even begin to clean the place for her. And say, because you honor us, let us return the honor. We are comfortable. We like you beyond the environment. And you are saying, this woman is using charm. The charm is honor. This is the house of God. Go back wiser. There is something that has closed that door. It may not be a demon issue. It may be a dishonor issue. It may not be demon. I tell you the truth. It may not be demon. Sometimes it may be demon, but not always demon. There are cases whereby, literally, we have said something that make God to shift back and make men to shift back. So when both God and men shift back from you, tell me, what will happen to you? Say, unless the Lord build the house, the builder is building, but in vain. What have you said that make your destiny help us to run away? What have come out of your mouth? Carelessly or unconsciously? See, I just tell him I don't like nonsense. You don't like nonsense? To your destiny help us? That is why you are still where you are. Meekness, humility, honor should be mixed with every statement that come out of your mouth if you want to make progress. Oh, ministers of God, you will suffer. Say, if you, don't, if you don't come here, I'm your man of God. If you don't come, I will curse you. Not everybody you can curse. Honor people. Truly, if you are a man of honor, it is a magnet. It brings men from the four corners of the, of the earth to you. Men can leave their, their location because when they visited you, the level of honor and the, how they were received was so much. They, they go back and they can't sleep again. They say, I wish to go back. I'm coming back. Because there is something in us that want to be celebrated. There is something in every man and every woman that deserve to be celebrated, to be honored. Oh yes, I want to be honored. I honor people and I want to be honored. Oh, Jesus honor people and Jesus want to be honored. I am just coming, not quite long, but the church has been on since because of faithful people. I truly honor them. You see them all around. I'm not the first to be inside the church. In rain, in sun, in cold, they are always there. You can't just say no because I'm your man of God. No, I never communicate this honor, not even to my workers. 
Some of you, your workers have left you. That is why your business go down. Not all workers should leave. There are some workers that are destiny helpers. They are pillars of your business. They are pillars of your ministries. If they leave, you are collapsing the unity structure of that place. Sometimes you have to swallow your pride, your own as a leader, and honor them. So if you want to go, you can go. You will never get such a person back because of your dishonor as a leader. And they go one after the other. And later you become like that woman that was caught in adultery. Jesus said, where are your people? He said, they are gone. They all left you. They left you. Even the good one can leave. Because of dishonor. Good one can leave. If you see people who truly love you, appreciate you, honor you, please honor, and honor them back. Honor them back, brothers and sisters. This has bring great men down today. This has bring great marriages down today. Find out when your marriage begins to have issues. It started from dishonor. Probably there is no food. You say, and so will I die? Go, go and get your, your useless man. That little dishonor begin to remove the affection gradually and gradually until you get to a place of divorce. If you ask the man, he said, this woman never regard me. And there is no way. Sometimes it's opposite. A woman can do everything and the man will never say thank you. Say, I pay your diary. Eh? You pay my diary, then you suffer. So it is very, very important to let honor lead you, brothers and sisters. I leave you under this atmosphere to go and recheck your life. Go and reset yourself with this honor. Never bring all chances that is not mixed with honor. If you want to go far, go with honor. Tell your neighbor. If you want to go far, go with honor. But if you don't want to go anywhere, go with this honor. God bless you. This is your house. Lord, I, I repent of what I have said with my mouth. I repent. Right now, open your lips and begin to repent. Repent, 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 repent. Repent, repent, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Viewers, you can repent. Repent. Repent of this. Repent of this. I repent of this honor. Lord, make me an agent of honor. Make me an agent. Let my words be soil. Be soil and be sorted with honor. Oh Lord, give me the grace to be a candidate of honor. Give me the grace to be a candidate of honor. Not just to my leader, even to my follower. Even to my follower, to my mate, to my colleague. Those I'm better than and those who are better than me. Lord, grace to be a person of honor. Grace to be a person of honor. 
talk to God. Repent. Repent of disobedience. Repent of arrogance. Repent of pride. Repent of these things. Repent. Repent. All men are not the same. Repent. 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 We are the same in Christ, but we are different in graces. I repent, O oh Lord. I repent, O oh Lord. I repent. I repent of this. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent. I repent.